welcome to oracle sql and plsql session hello everyone very good morning and good evening to all temporary table in oracle we have two types of temporary tables in oracle one is global temporary table and another one is pri uh, private temporary table so what is temporary table say for an example if you are logging into the system okay oracle database that means this is one session we'll call it as one session okay you are logging into the database this is called one session okay one session you are logging into then i have to create some table you are executing some long uh, sql statements it's like contains some four to five tables or six to seven tables i do not want to join all the table as it is i have to create some temp tables okay these two tables i have to join create temp table called a another three tables you have to join called b these two tables i have to make a join so finally but these two tables i do not want to keep it once the session has over right i do not want to keep it then i can create like a temp tables so if you if you are creating a temp table this is coming from 8i global temporary table okay so global temporary table you can have it from the version 8i but private temporary table it comes under 18c version okay 18c version only you have the private temporary table okay so we do not have access to create this private temporary table so, but we we can create global temporary table i will tell you the concept okay so we have the global temporary tables so available from 8i so if you see this i'm just i want to create one temp table on commit delete rows so what is the meaning of on commit delete rows right create global temporary table so you are creating a global temporary table so my temp table id with the description on commit delete rows so if i'm going to commit it it will not have any data so i'm if i'm going to commit this finally it will not have any data so here i'm going to insert some data okay in this table see here one something i'm just loading it will have one row just if you are checking this you will have the data right count this one yes count we have but here i'm going to do commit if you do commit then data will not be available okay so with before committing it data will be available so after committing it the data will be will not be available that's on commit delete rows so if you are going to commit delete the rows so that's the thing and you can use so private temporary table we do not have okay so on commit preserve rows this way but we may think that okay it will preserve the data so on commit preserve rows so i will log out from here disconnect from the session one more time i will connect the session okay so here i'm going with this table right okay so i will select the table select star from this is another session so we have the data right sorry we have the table but it should not have any date okay so now i'm going to insert some data here so what i will do this table i will drop it drop with uh, i'm going to drop the table recreate with so i have dropped it i can go here on commit preserve rows on commit preserve rows just i'm creating then i'm using this insert statement so insert into temp table one row got inserted you are seeing the data yes it is here just i'm committing it then we are checking it the data will be available so i'm going to disconnect and reconnect it okay with another session we'll check it now whether this is available or not we are making on commit preserve rows but why the data is not available so this is the advantage of temporary table okay 
So within the particular session, the data will be available. If the session is over, okay, even though you are making this on commit or or whatever it may be, on commit preserve rows means a particular session, this will be available, but next session it will not be available. The structure it will be maintained. Okay, structure it will be maintained. Even if you are having 1 billion record today, okay, yes. Uh, within the session, it will maintain all the data. But the session is over. Okay, if it is, has been, the, the connection has been closed. Uh, if the particular session is over in the server, then the data will get erased automatically. So that's an advantage of global temporary table. The structure will be available for next user. Okay, next user. I, I am the user one. I logged in. I have loaded here 1 million data. I'm using it. Now I'm using, you are the second user. Okay, you are the second user. You are logging into the same system. You are seeing the global temp table, but you are loading another 2 million data here. Yes, you can load it. This session will have different data. This session will have different data. If you're closing it, all the data will get released. So that's a temporary table, global temporary table, but private temporary table means, okay, the structure, data will not be available okay clear structure and data everything it's a private to the particular session and if you want to create any private temporary table you cannot create as like this you have to create this way okay so this way you have to make on commit drop definition that means commit if you are going to commit it will drop the definition it will not be available but it will automatically it will do this no need to do if you are coming out of the session, nothing will be there. But when we will create, we are handling huge volume of data, joining all this. If I want to create, if you want to load temporarily some data after that, you should not keep that temp data, right? See, you are creating some backup data, backup table. After sometimes you are for, you forget to delete the data in the table. So it is creating a lot of memory space in the database. So that's why they have created the large uh, table called temporary table global temp table if you are logging into system you are creating some three columns another person going with the table with the four columns you can create it it's a beauty of uh, temp tables with same name but different structure you can create